Hey guys, it's Beth, and welcome back to some more of our Pokemon Shining Pearl catch em all challenge. In the last episode, we caught quite a few things. Uh, in, the, in between episodes, I did, in fact, uh, grind things up to be Max Friendship. Uh, Joker is already in the box because they, uh, they leveled up slower than Chie. Uh, and, well, Chie is going to evolve in this episode. And I also got Karma. Uh, maxed out in terms of happiness as well. I've also caught two Magikarp, which is pretty cool. Uh, I forgot to bring my, uh, uh, what's it called? The, you know, uh, I forgot to pull up the, the sheet for the interactive map. There we go. So, thank you, Cerebi. We now have that pulled up. And now, uh, we can talk to everyone in here. Let's talk to you. Oh, right, I don't actually fight you, do I? I fight after this. Oh my gosh. I. <laughs> do, do you ever forget the fact that you're incredibly dumb, and that the, the, the fight is actually somewhere else. Turns out, I'm an idiot. Okay, that's fine. Okay. I'll battle the people in here regardless. I entirely forgot that this is a thing. Oh my gosh. I, I, I entirely, completely forgot. I'm a gosh darned fool. I'm the biggest dumbass on this side of the earth. This side of the universe, even. Charge beam. Fascinating. You better give me Charge Beam as a TM. Because I, I deserve it. Oh yeah, I also got the the Quick Claw on Caulifla now. And you also battle, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure after fighting both of them I get a reward. Maybe not. I don't know. I'm just gonna continue using Ember, I think. Because Power Up Punch may increase in attack stat, and Abra may have the attack stat of a weasel, uh, or defense stat of a weasel, but, um. I, I should still, like, not use something that's not very effective, I suppose. It's very weird using a Chimchar again. It's been a long, long time since I used one. Well, regardless, even if I didn't get, um... Oh! TM10s, let's see. Work up. Fascinating. Um, hold on one second. They only gave me three of them? Okay. That's lame. Ah. Now we can get the poke etch. Okay. I have to go find some clowns. I see one through the screen right now. Oh, I entirely... <laughs> I, I was just pressing the A button. I didn't know I had to answer questions. Whoopsie. Where is two? I always forget. Three is always the one that I find the easiest, I swear. Ah, there it is. Oh wow, you could literally just... You quite genuinely... 
could just press A through all of that. Alright. Well, luckily, I have got the solution. Now I have the Pokach. Well. Oh. Can we put that away, please? I don't want that in the corner anymore. Can I put that away, please? <laughs> Is there not a way to put that away? I entirely forget if there's a way to put away your Pokech. Oh, press and hold R. Okay. That makes sense. I probably should have tried that earlier. Damn it, I closed the map. I need to know what's coming up next. So, Route 203 is next. And I will be able to get... Um, I already have Starly. I can get Abra's. And potentially Krakatots. It is later as I'm recording this now. So I might be able to get Krakatots uh, now. It's 5 o'clock. I'm not sure when night happens in Pokemon. Alright. Fighting the Starly. Um... Night is from 6 to 3, so I just have to record for several hours. That's fine. That's normal, even. I'm just gonna power up Punch. <laughs> that way I can just knock out his, uh, his Piplup in one hit. One Punch Ape. <laughs> Don't get cocky. Alright. Maybe if you used Gust instead of Quick Attack. Because now Khalifla is powered up. Don't even need to use the, the Patara to be strong. Watch this. One punch, here we go. Oh, Quick Claw, here it comes. Boom! Holy Actually? What? Okay, I'm surprised. Your defense is higher than I thought. Okay, then. With two... Literally, with two attack boosts, it only did half? That's crazy. I didn't know Piplup had that good of defense. Damn. Wow. Oh yeah, obligatory Pokech knowledge. There are two, officially, there are two colors of Pokech. Blue for boys, red for girls, Barry has an orange Pokech. That is all I'm going to say. I know it's a design oversight. However, once again, uh, pull up a picture of Barry from Pokemon uh, Diamond and Pearl. Now pull up a picture of Bianca from Pokemon Black and White. Look at their names. Look at the design. All I need to say is that... Huh, that's fascinating. Okay. So... Now we gotta catch ourselves... Some Abras. So let's roll on in here. We have a 15% chance of running into them, so that's good. You know, I don't remember playing this uh, this game during, like, this dawn... Not dawn, uh, dusk. This dusk time. It actually looks really nice. Okay. 
So, okay, Bidoof has the same odds of appearing as Abra. They both have a 15% odds chance. Starly has 35, Shinx has 25, and Krikatot has 10. Well, as long as we're looking at, um... <laughs> I wasn't looking at day, I was looking at morning. Um... During the day, it's 45 Starly, 25 Shanks, 15 Abra, and 15 Bidoof. Because for some reason, Krikatot is exclusive to morning and night. And so Zubat. Zubat can be ca caught on this route at night. Why are you slightly slanted, bro? <laughs> He's off-center. What the heck? Bro, th this man is tilted. Uh, send to a box. We'll, uh... We'll evolve you later. That's a Shanks. Hello, Shanks. You are very cute, Shanks, but I already have all of the Shanks that I need. You know, I've never actually checked what level Shinx evolves at. Shinx evolves at level 15 and then at level 30. That's entirely reasonable. <laughs> so, so many Pokemon just, like, have the worst level ups, especially, like, Gen 5 onwards. Just, oh, 1530. That, that makes total sense. It's like, oh, for the first 15 levels, you're weak. Then for the next 15 levels, you're a little bit stronger. And then, after that, you're strong. Wow. Fantastic. It's not like frickin' Hydreigon, where you have literally evolve at level 50 and then 64. Insane. I will say one thing about this particular, like, weather, weather pattern for lighting, it makes the Starlies look shiny, <laughs> which is not ideal, it's not what you want. Like all of them look shiny because they're slightly, they're, they're more tinted brown in this, uh, this lighting. Come on, I need an Abra. You're being so mean to me. Wah. This isn't enjoyable content for my viewers. You need to be nicer to me. Wah. It's still a shank. Seriously, give me, give me the Abra, please. I need it. That's not an Abra. The one nice thing about doing like the, these challenges to catch and evolve more Pokemon, uh, it, it, it's like you end up in a lot more battles, so you have a higher chance of getting shinies, supposedly. I think my sister is home because I smell fire downstairs, and usually that means that she's left something in the toaster. <laughs> Hopefully, I guess she's home from work, probably. Uh, it is five o'clock, that does make sense. Personally, I'm still waiting on a job to call back. But hey, you know, now that it's January, uh, we might actually get some freaking calls back. Because for the entirety of December, it was nothing. Because every middle manager that is responsible for hiring is off for, like, all of December. <laughs> but that's okay. Listen. 
I, I can't blame people for, for not wanting to work during the holidays. I getcha. However, I do need work, and I wouldn't have minded working for the holidays, you know, because I want money. How am I supposed to buy trinkets and knickknacks and games I'll never play if I don't have money? How am I going to buy 37 more Roxanne Wolf plushies? How have I still not run into an Abra? It's a 15% chance. That The other Abra got upset because I called him his Pokedex entry tilted. Because his frickin' model was tilted. Like, I don't know what to say, bro. I like the pink boots. I wish I could dress like Dawn from Pokemon. I actually have art of me as Dawn from Pokemon, thanks to my lovely partner Natalie, which you will have seen if you watched my Renegade Platinum playthrough. Because at, uh, at some point during recording Renegade Platinum, uh, <laughs> The, the VTuber program I used was down for some reason, like, I'm not sure what it was. So I just recorded a bunch of episodes without it, which is actually why I transitioned away from using the VTuber for so long. It's just because, like, it, I just got into the habit of not doing it. It was, it was out for a couple days, and at that point I was just like, eh, whatever. If I have to edit in other stuff to begin with, I'll just make something new. Which is why we've got the happy game girl on the side, as well as, well, it was designed for streams. Specifically, I wanted to play exclusively the Game Boy library on stream. Like, that was gonna be the whole gimmick. That has not happened, uh, in quite a while. I need to do more Game Boy grab bags. Those are fun to do. The issue is just, like, effort, energy, motivation. Listen, I cannot have just spent, like, five full minutes doing nothing. I could have... Oh my gosh, this sucks. Okay. Listen, man. Come on. I need an Abra, bro. Though I guess to be fair, this is... Unfortunately, if you are watching a catch em all challenge, you are most likely expecting this. A and this is going to be like, in general, I record these episodes a little bit longer because less stuff happens overall. Because, well... Sometimes things don't want to appear. I can't wait until we have a 1% odds thing that <laughs> Like I can't move on until I get this frickin Abra I'm suddenly glad that I chose like not to worry about trade evolutions At least for right now since like holy shit if it takes Abra this long to appear twice It would be hell for it to appear thrice it is a 15% up. And here's the thing. I have to just throw a basic-ass Pokeball at it. There's a decent chance it'll break free. Uh, think about that. If that happens, I'll, I'll move on and catch it in between episodes. And now nothing's appearing. Really? Ugh. Okay. I'm just gonna move on for now. Cause like, what the fuck? <laughs> I cannot- I am so sorry for making you watch five minutes of that. But I don't edit these episodes. <laughs> I've decided that all of my episodes, uh, I record them and I put them out into the universe. 
You know, it, it's like... It's like God. God did not make me perfect, and I had to find my own way. And that's how these episodes are. If they're not perfect as they come, then well, that's how, that's how they'll be. Nothing is perfect because... God wants all of us to to use our ability of free will to improve and become greater. So that everyone can enjoy the joy of creation. Anyway, Chie is evolving into a Roselia, which we can use in the next gym. There she be. I'm a big fan of Roselia and Roserade's design. Yes, I would like Poison Sting. Uh, instead of Worry Seed, we don't need Worry Seed. Theoretically, we could take Chie off the team literally right now. Oh my gosh, she's modest. Holy crap, that's amazing. We could theoretically take her off the team because she is now evolved, and that's as far as we can evolve her right now, but I would like to be able to uh, win this next gym. <laughs> And unfortunately, I don't think that a Chimchar with just Power Up Punch is going to completely sweep. As much as, like, I, I believe in Kalifla, I think... Uh, it's not Stab right now. And I am scared of Cranidos. Cranidos is as strong as crap. Cricketot. I love Cricketot. Such a funny Pokemon. And I love Cricket Tune because it goes. Da, whoop! I freaking love that cry. It's the best cry in all of Pokemon. Well, to be fair, uh, Regigigas also has some really fun sounds in the anime. And I love Regigigas. Reg Regigigas might be like. It's one of my favorite legendaries. It's up there with like Jirachi, uh, Rayquaza, and Ultra Necrozma. I fucking love Necrozma, by the way. I think Necrozma is probably the coolest Pokemon that's ever been made. Like, it, it's not my favorite, it's just, like, the coolest, you know? Oh, whoopsie. I was looking at the item uh, up to the top left. <laughs> oh, I just realized her, her thing's, like... Uh, a flower or a clover. That's cute. <laughs> Punch the rat. <laughs> the, <laughs> uh, frickin' the Pope during the plague. <laughs> Ooh, Walter learned rollout. Nice. Okay, Power Up Punch is up by one. We should probably one-shot this. Yep. Punch the bird out of the sky. Badoo. Dang it. You're a poison type. I can't just punch you. <laughs> Bonk. Sorry. Sorry for bonking your Pokemon. Oh my gosh. Listen, y'all need to stop having encounters if they are not an Abra. Like, you, you gotta learn at this point, right? I have a feeling Cerebi is wrong. That happens quite frequently, I've noticed. Uh, a lot of times when I'm relying on Cerebi, it's just incorrect. Uh, the most ludicrous one is, uh... 
the interactive map of Kanto has two routes entirely swapped. And I have no idea how, like, how that hasn't been, like, fixed. <laughs> but hey, I mean, it's one dude, I think. I think it might have some additional people working on it. Uh, but, uh, yeah. It, it, it is strange. Like, that, that stayed for, like, several years. I don't know if there's a way to, like, request edits on Cerebi. Uh, I don't know. I just re Cerebi is so weird to use for me. Because, like, I used to watch, like, a bunch of old, uh, Pokemon YouTubers. And I unsubscribed from, like, all of them since it just, it started to get stale from me and it just wasn't interesting. And also, like, at the end, they, they all became friends with the guy who ran Cerebi. And, like, every single one of them would just slag off, like, Bulbapedia and stuff. It's like, bro, <laughs> bro, we, <laughs> why the fuck are you, d why? They, they, they all have the same information. So, some places are, like, way easier to find information on, too. It's like, Pokemon DB is by far the best one for looking up, like, Pokemon Learn sets. Like, by far. Like, Bulbapedia is not great for that. Bulbapedia has some really good aspects. I didn't expect you to be evolving this soon. Uh... And then Cerebi has some really nice stuff. Like, the interactive maps are so nice to use. So basically, I use all of the 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 the, the Pokemon databases for different purposes, because none of them are perfect. Mock Punch, let's go. We do not need Leer. Give me an Abra. I really want one, so you should give me one. Oh yeah, that that little uh, shake that they do at the start, that's because they are max happiness. Because I maxed out the happiness of pretty much everything in my party right now. Because, you know, that's just how it be. Okay. Listen, I will give you, like, one more chance. Um, is there anything else that I can get in, like... I'm looking at, like... Okay, no, it, there does not appear to be anything in the Orberg Gate. Okay. I'll give you guys one more chance, okay? That is not... Okay, well, I'll catch Cricketot and, uh... and the other Abra off-screen. Um... I will, I think, in this episode, just get to Orberg, then. I believe that's Rock Smash, ain't it? Yep. Yep, hidden moves. Alright, I don't need Rock Smash right now, because I literally have Mock Punch and Power Up Punch, which are just infinitely better. So, yeah. My attack fell, that can't be right. I have to power up punch now. There we are, much better. Mm. 
Now we gotta end this quick. <laughs> that was like way faster than it has any right to be. What the heck? I know it's mock punch. Like that was what I was expecting, but like, damn. Okay. I love like the the camper designs. I would totally wear that. Pokemon is like top tier when it comes to designs. I don't know who they have behind the scenes working on fashion, but it's just like, if there's a character in Pokemon, it's just like, yeah, I'd wear that. I, I especially want, like, the cool trainers in this game with the green hair. Like, that's my favorite. Those are by far, like, the best. Okay. We'll show off a different Pokemon. Hello, Psyduck. God, Psyduck is so freaking huge. Why are you that big, bro? Die. Perish. Go to hell. Ooh, bite. Let's go. Get rid of Leer. We don't need that. The hiker design in this game is freaking peak as well. Like, they're so good. Oh yeah, and also these construction workers with the funny hats. So good. I love all of these designs. Also, the, the like the fighting girls, also fantastic. I swear, all of these and yeah, look at this is like the best design ever. <laughs> God, the designs in this game are just unrivaled. Like they're so freaking good. But yeah, like look look how cool she is. And, like, I, I love the, the nurse joy in this game as well. Like, god, all the, all the designs in Diamond and Pearl are just so cool. Whoever designed these things are, like, so epic. Also, I can see right now something that changed. I guess they got a, a letter from the Red Cross, too, because that's yellow instead of red. <laughs> Oh, and this this basic nurse? Oh my gosh. All of these designs are so freaking cool. I love I love Pokemon. Like even like the most basic NPCs have so nice designs. Like the this like mom based design. It's so nice. All of these construction workers that look like the Mega Man Legends uh not, not Mega Man Legends, I'm thinking of, like, the, the, you know the one Mega Man enemy I'm thinking of with, like, the, the green plus on their construction hats and they, like, hide in them? You know the ones. Oh, right, I should probably check if there's anything interesting in here for me to catch. Um, if I go to the Orberg Mine... We can catch Onyx here. Khalifla seems like she wants to be petted. Me too. I mean, what? Oh god, it's a 10% chance for Onyx. <laughs> Oof. This is gonna be a rough one, I suppose. And also, uh, I believe your name is Rourke. Your design is cool. I love... I just love these designs, man. Also, Gen 4 has a lot of really good Pokemon designs as well. Like, Gen 4 was so good, actually. The main issue with Gen 4 is just how slow the original games were. These games fix that quite a bit. Is why, even though Platinum adds a lot of good content, I still think these games 100% deserve to be loved a lot more than they are. 
Because, like, straight up, uh... What was it that I was thinking? Oh yeah, because the actual speed of this game is so much better. Okay. Well, it's now time for us to run in circles and hope to God that we can find an onyx. <laughs> I'll, I'll give it only five. I'll give it five for y'all. That way you do not have to deal with it. And we only need to get one onyx because we can't uh, evolve it. Okay, that's one. That's two. I know it's weird for me to say, oh, well, I'll catch them off screen. I think I'll just, like, I'll continue, um, like, recording, but I'll just cut to the point where I get them. I just won't be talking. I'll be, like, listening to a podcast or a YouTube video about old computers. This is three, I think. I may have already lost count. Yeah, I, I will go and, uh, I'll, I'll get all of the Pokemon up to this point off screen. Or I guess on screen, but just not dragging out the video for another hour. Seriously, I, I'm gonna, like, <laughs> okay, let's say this is the last one, because that one took way too long. Alright, well... Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.